Hello, Magic Masses. I am longtime independent wrestling fan Robert People Mover. What well, a great way for Pro Wrestling Magic to kick off the year 2022. We began the night with some uh, pre show matches. As first, we saw that whole ass dude, Pancakes, defeat Abs. I forgot the lady in Pancakes' corner. This is not the same. Pancakes that has wrestled for Suffolk Wrestling Alliance or New York Wrestling Connection. Next up was a great matchup which saw Joseph Alexander take on Legit Perfect Perkins. And I won't say that three times fast, but uh, Legit Perfect Perkins had a very touching tribute to the late Kurt Henning, Mr. Perfect, with the initials on his boots and he carried a towel to the ring. Right. Great match these two put on, and uh, Joseph Alexander put like the put Perkins in like an ankle lock on like not once, not twice, not three times, not even, not even three times, four times in the same match, and couldn't put him away. Eventually, legit perfect Perkins defeated Joseph Alexander to win the match, and after the match ended, Jay George came out and felt it was a great pre-show match and said. They got the pressing manager to offer both of them a contract. Mm. Mm. Next up, we saw the the pop icon Michael Blade. Accompanied by, I don't know, that was supposed to be his sister or girlfriend. And they went one-on-one -on -one with Preach. Preach, I don't know if he was like this some kind of a hippie character, but Preach defeated Michael Blade to uh, win the final match of the pre-show. Oh, no. no. Then we get on with the uh, main show. As first, we see Jay George, Jay George challenge the God of Drivers, Everett Cross, for the Dark Arts Championship. And just as Shane Fares were, were announced, making the announcements for the match, Everett Cross says something in Shane's ear, and Shane said, this match will be contested with no holds barred. Eventually, uh, Everett, Everett Cross defeats Jay George to retain the Dark Arts Championship. But... Why, anybody know, Everett, why, why are you carrying two belts? I mean, I don't know if that's a, that's a new Dark Arts belt or, or a, a new one with it or it's for another promotion. I wonder what that's about. Next match was a battle of debuts as uh, Gabriel Sky defeated Dante Leon. Two high flyers going at it. I forgot how it ended, but Gabriel Sky defeated Dante Leon in a great matchup, and um, hopefully both these guys get to come back to Pro Wrestling Magic in the future. Next up, we saw Billy Dixon challenge Erica Lee for the heavyweight championship. Back and forth battle between both of these individuals. But then out comes Darius Carter with a referee and the keys to the kingdom, which uh, Carter handed over and hit Erica Lee with, I forgot what he calls that, Cobra Clutch meets, the, meets Jeff Jarrett's stroke move. And Darius Carter uh, won the heavyweight championship by virtue of cashing in that that key. Darius Carter, the new uh, Pro Wrestling Magic heavyweight champion. Mm. 
Next matchup, well, actually, next we see uh, Hispanos Unidos, or Unidos, uh, the Brooklyn Outlaw Donovan, Steve Pena, Azriel, and Trey Felipe. They come out, and Donovan said he was going to issue a challenge for his junior heavyweight challenge. And out came the Phoenix GKM, and Donovan said he was so confident that he would not only win, but he would put his spot in the Chad Adams Memorial Rumble on the line. He said, get another wrestler out. And out came Killian McMurphy, accompanied to the ring by Big Dusk. So we had a triple threat match for the Junior Heavyweight Championship, which saw Brooklyn Outlaw Donovan defeat the Phoenix GKM and Killian McMurphy to retain the Junior Heavyweight Championship. Then, the next matchup, we saw the kid, Vinny Pacifico, go one-on-one -on -one with Davey Richards. Good matchup these two had, and uh, Richards looked like he lost some muscle as he's gotten older. I mean, I haven't seen him wrestle in years. Uh, Vinny Pacifico countered the ankle lock or the heel hook and pinned Davey Richards to win the matchup. Prior to the match, Shane Fair announced that the winner of this match would get to enter 20th in the Chad Adams Memorial Rumble, and the loser would enter first. But before Vinny Pacifico came through the curtain, went through the curtain, Shane Fair uh, I mean, I apologized to Vinny and said he got chewed out by the other 19 members of the roster and said there was a cancellation. So uh, that you know, he reneged. The, re, he said reneged the deal or whatever the deal, whatever the stipulation was, and offered Vinny, you know, you'll have to enter at number one. I said, you know, you could just go home and enjoy the rest of your night, or you can start this rumble at number one. And Vinny said, I am number one. And then when it was on with the Chad Adams Memorial Rumble. Uh, Vinny Pacifico entered first. Entering second was Alex Ryman. Uh, among other participants, we had Trey Felipe, Trey Felipe, Azriel, Steve Pena. Everett Cross, J. George, uh, Smiley, uh, the returning Clockwork Angel, Catred. That was a shock. Uh, Stephen J. Higgins, Shane Fair, um, Tyree Taylor. Great to see him again. The Dominican Destroyer, Vargas. Uh, hmm. What else we saw in this match? Mm. What else was there? Oh, how can I forget? Shotgun Steve off. Um, bam. Uh, this is the mayor of Scumbag City, John Tella. Well, obviously they had to have some surprises. Um, um there, I'm probably forgetting some people, but the Brooklyn Outlaw, Donovan entered last. Uh, Steve Off eliminated Alex Ryman. Ryman was the first one winning from the match. Later in the match, Ryman came back and he had a, some kind of pipe in his hand. He caused Steve Off to get eliminated and they brawled in the crowd. And um, eventually came down to Vinny Pacifico, uh, was it, and Donovan at the end? Yeah, it was Pacifico and eliminated Donovan at the end to win the Chad Adams Rumble. And now I guess he gets a title shot at, at the heavyweight championship at the anniversary show in April. Personal notes, um, great seeing uh, Shane Fair, Pete, Pete, uh, Carl, I forgot who, who was next to me, I forgot his name. Um, the crowd was bigger than last month's Kingdom Come 6, 
uh, those ladies uh, sitting, sitting like uh, to my left, in the section to my left, they were like enjoying themselves throughout the night. Uh, well, here are some memorable quotes. Welcome back again. Steve off when he saw me before the show. Robert Lodi is here. Shane Fair, when he came out to skip, I think, the pre-show underway. I don't know, Shane. Are you really mispronouncing my name? First, you said Lodi. It's it's Lottie. Lottie. You know how to pronounce it. Most Everybody knows how to pronounce my last name. <clears throat> what the hell was that? Jimmy Riot, during, on commentary during the legit perfect Perkins versus Joseph Alexander match, when what looked look to be, a, an, I guess, an ankle plex? That uh, Joseph Alexander, he had hang, held on to Perkins's in the ankle lock and gave him a back suplex. So I call it the ankle plex. You're breaking my hair! Shane Fair, uh, while he was, I don't know, it was Tyree Taylor or somebody else, he was doing a, was doing a number on him in the uh, Chad Adams Rumble. Um, it was announced that... Uh, Pro Wrestling Magic returns on Saturday, February 26th, as they present Smiley's Wild Ride. So I guess that gives away who's going to be on that show. Um, unfortunately, I will not be there for that one. I wonder, Pro Wrestling Magic, if you pinpointed show dates, because normally when a new year arrives, you would have shows lined up from January to June. I mean, I hope there'll be announcements soon about the shows from... I guess January to June. The rest of June. The show ended around 9.30 p.m. And second month in a row, they had no intermission. The, uh, Shane Fair did announce there was going to be a, uh, an after, after party at a place called Blackbird or Blackbirds in Cliffside Park. Uh, there will come a day I will go there after a show. I'm not sure when I'll even be back at Pro Wrestling Magic. That's why I would ask about upcoming show dates, but I won't be there February 26th. Um, and also, I hope, I don't know if we can get everybody, you know, get, uh, Philip, uh, as well as the Cuban hype men, Fernando and Bruno to come back for a show, because I definitely, we haven't done a, a Magic Masses family portrait in here. We only had one portrait since, that was like, what, 2018, 2019, folks? Um, hmm. Mm. Mm. Sad part about that coming coming to Pro Wrestling Magic next month is next month will mark five years since I first went to Pro Wrestling Magic back in February of twenty seventeen. Mm. Mm. Um, didn't see uh, Elliot was not there. Uh, didn't see Bill Parham, Jason Bobby, 87 were not there. Hmm. I don't know what Pro Wrestling Magic is going to do regarding the uh, tag team title or the women's title. I think uh, 
the tag team champions were not there at Kingdom Come 6. They weren't even advertised for this one, People Mover. But yeah, Pro Wrestling Magic did very good. Um, I will be back in the future. Hopefully, uh, more fans will be in there in attendance. And if there are any new fans that were there for the first time, hopefully they'll be back. But I love coming to that building no matter which promotion it is. And that's not a knock on anybody. Um, so, yeah, that'll do it from here. Pro Wrestling Magic, man. <laughs>